Michigan, what's up with these trees? This is really cool. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it's gorgeous. I found my new riding partner. <laughs> Okay, good morning. I just I just had to record this because this is a first for us. It is, I don't know, 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning in Michigan. As you know, we're covered in trees and it's a really cloudy day and so we're sitting inside Ruby with the twinkle lights on because otherwise it's kind of dark and gloomy. Yeah, <laughs> so. and it's cold. And it's a bit chilly today. Every day is, in Michigan so far, every day, has been a different day in regard to the weather. Hot and humid, cloudy and cold, windy. I just did the whole gamut. It's just been every really, day. yeah, every day is different. You just don't know what you're gonna get when you wake up, especially when you don't have any cell service. You literally don't know what you're gonna get till you get up. Richard hasn't had his coffee yet. I haven't had enough of my coffee yet. <laughs> I want to show you something that we were able to score on in this campground. Behind me is this tent with this sweet camper named Ashley, who's actually a work camper living out of her tent and working here at the campground. But she also has uh, electricity in the tent area. So Richard was able to sweet talk her into hooking up our cord onto her cord. So now we have an electric site in the tent area, which is amazing because Michigan, what's up with these trees? <laughs> We're having a bit of a test with the solar system, trying to keep it charged and keep everything else charged with, there's, there's a couple things going on. First of all, there's lots of trees, so we're constantly moving the solar system around. The other thing is, is there's a fire, and so it's very hazy, so we're not getting the full benefit from the sun because of that. I have to tell you, this poor solar panel it maybe was in the sun for mm, 15 minutes today. There's just too many Look, Richard found some sun. Yeah, <laughs> just might as well chase it around for the 10 minute intervals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but for once it's not cloudy. It will be in five minutes, so. Yeah, if you don't like it, just wait five minutes. We are in Copper Harbor in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And today we're gonna go on a ride and go explore the area. It's a little chilly today, probably in the 60s near the end of July. <laughs> You're getting all bundled up like it's, like it's, it's uh, like it's February or something. <laughs> yeah. Our first stop, our first waypoint is gonna be Brockway Mountain. And I just had to laugh because what's the elevation of Brockway Mountain? 1,332 feet. <laughs> it's not very much, <laughs> but it's supposed to ride the ridge, kind of ride a ridge along Lake Superior here. So it should be pretty cool. Yes. Yep, it's supposed to have a lot of good views. So that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna go up in elevation and then go explore the rest of what uh, the area <laughs> around Copper Harbor. Yes, well we have we have <laughs> several falls to go through and we're hoping to do the Copper Mine Tour too. Yes, yep. All right, we'll see you out on the road. We found uh, Sasquatch. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I found my new riding partner. <laughs> I feel really tiny next to this dude. I'm like small. <laughs> All right, buddy. I gotta go. Sorry. You take care of things. I'll come back and pick you up later.
Rockway Mountain Drive, and it's it's relatively short. I think to get to the top is only about three miles, and we're, and then it winds along the um, the edge. And now I think we're getting ready to head back down, and we're going to connect to M26 and make our way that way. So we made it to Silver Falls? Silver Falls. Yeah. No, they're more like Cascades. I guess I would I'd put them in the category of Cascades, but they're beautiful. Yeah, they're beautiful. A lot of life in them. You can see there's a lot of life. Yes. Yeah. All right, onward to the next thing. Oh, it's right here. I know we keep making stops, but this is just way so pretty. It's a beautiful ride, but there's lots of places to stop. next to these guys and throughout today we have just kind of been lapping each other because there's so many pretty stops along the way. I'll be safe out there. Yeah. That big fat tire is so cool. It is. Yeah. That's really awesome. 
Be All safe, right, be guys. Be careful. Thank you. Yeah. Nice to meet y'all. Meeting up with our bicycle buddies again. Who was our neighbors uh, last night? Yeah. <laughs> For a grocery store, <laughs> but I don't think this is a big enough town to have a no. decent sized grocery store. No, and Copper Harbor has a very small grocery store. Very similar to Bryce. Yes, so the things are expensive, so we thought, hey, we're on a ride, let's see if we can't scrounge up a grocery store. And we can't, <laughs> and we can't find one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, we figured there'd be one here, and there's not, so we're going to yeah. find a place to pull over and search. All right, so here's the snow gauge. And actually, the locals call this the snow stick, but it measures the annual snowfall for this area. Let's go last ahead. year, only got 15 feet, so it was kind of low. Yeah. So <laughs> I think that's so funny to say that. I know. <laughs> All right, let's go check it out. Okay, so in 78, 79, they had 390 inches of snow. Right, so they tabulated it by... November had 49.2, December had 116, January had 111, February had 53, March had 52, April had 7. Okay. Or 8 inches. Okay, so they each, they added up. Well, yeah, they added up. Um, That's the total fall. Yes. Six months worth. Yeah. Over a six month period, you got 390 right. inches. I was thinking you got 390 inches all at once. Yes. <laughs> so last year, they got an accumulation of 15 feet of snow. Wow. at the Delaware Mine. We're going to go take a tour of it. And we decided that it's called the Delaware Mine because it's off of Delaware Street. Really? So they named it Delaware Street because it was Delaware Mine? Yeah. So where did Delaware no, 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 Street no. get its name? Yeah. <laughs> because of the Delaware Mine. So where did the Delaware Mine get its name? It's just a big circle. circle. <laughs> it's a big circle of, of life that happens. Yes. All right, we're gonna go find. We're gonna go find out what this mine is all about. Well, it's a it's, copper mine. It's really fascinating the amount of copper that's up here. Right, and I didn't realize. I thought all copper was strip mined, like they do down in New Mexico and Mexico yeah. and, and Arizona. They're yeah. big, massive strip mines. Yes. These are tunnels. They're pretty cool. I'm, I'm interested to see how they did it. I know. They said dress warm. So yeah. we're dress warm because it's already cold outside. Correct. <laughs> all right, let's go. Oh, adorable! Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you got one already? You wanna? This'll work. Is it fit? Is it you? Yeah. Should we just go get our helmets? Down there yet. <laughs> no. Have been there. No, your light's not doing anything. No, I should have brought. I wish I didn't even think to bring flashlight. Bring my big oh, flashlight yeah. too. dark down here. I can't imagine working down here. That's, uh, I can't imagine coming down here and working because it's dark and cold. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't last a day. <laughs> we have a math problem that we need for you guys to I help like us hats. solve it for us. Here's what they did. When they brought out 98.5% rock and 1.5% of it was copper. Right. And they, and this this mine yielded eight million pounds of copper. So I want to know how many, how much rock they brought out. How many, how how many, many millions of pounds of rock they brought? Yeah. Out. There you go. It, for you people with with. Yeah, math. the math geniuses can put the comment down here <laughs> yeah. and tell us what it is. Yeah. Oh, well, pretty cool. Okay, <laughs> we made it to the end of this 
dark Delaware copper mine. It's kind of creepy down here. There's not very many people, and so it's really quiet. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's, um, yeah, I can't imagine. I can't imagine coming down here and working no. all day long. No, because it's cold. You can see your broom. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, when you first start down into this mine, you think it's kind of dark, but the lighting is normal. And then you get about three quarters of the way in and they have dimmed the lighting down. To what it was set like back in the day. Back in the day with candlelight. Yes. And you can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> if you come here, I just came up the stairs. <laughs> a hundred If you them. come here, bring a really bright flashlight. Yes. And you can see down those shafts. Yeah. We left ours on the motorcycle. Yeah. Didn't even think about it. But it's pretty cool. Unless you have claustrophobia like I do, and then it's like, yeah. You did pretty good, though. <laughs> so I was ready to get I out. I was expecting her to not, <laughs> not do well. Uh, and you did really well. Yeah, well, the sky is looking pretty darn good to me, overcast or not. <laughs> These are big. <laughs> These are Ingersoll Rand. This looks like a generator. Yeah, this was a generator hmm. for electricity. So maybe they did have some electricity on there. So they would have had lights. They could have. Or it could have been what ran the hoists. So this is the entire town of Copper Harbor. And we're right, we're staying right here on this lake. <laughs> yeah, this is the whole town. Today is stay in camp day. Yep. And uh, do a bunch of stuff around camp. Uh, right now we're taking a walk over to the grocery store because we have run out of food. Well, let's 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 not say it's a grocery store. <laughs> it's just a it's a little yeah. glorified convenience store. Yes. Yesterday when we were out on our ride, we tried to find a relatively large grocery store. We tried we tried to find any grocery store actually. Yeah, really, any grocery store. <laughs> there isn't any. So we're gonna just grab something so we have something for dinner tonight and then when we head out of here we'll hopefully find a bigger town. <laughs> I'm sure we'll go through something a little bigger. <laughs> Richard wants to get in a little fishing. There's a little lake here that we'll go and check out. <laughs> now this cracks me up. Uh, Copper Harbor was a boom town with stores, hotels, and saloons. Those are the days of whiskeys and whiskers. <laughs> Whiskey and whiskey. How cute. I know. How awesome is this? We are out at the very tip of in Copper Harbor. I know. Wonder if it's anybody amazing. wonder if anybody swims over there. That's, I'm sure they can. Oh yeah. That's pretty cool. It's um kind of amazing the places we've been. I know. Listen. I really uh Copper Harbor is a cute little town. Yeah, I cannot imagine in the winter. Because <laughs> you're both sides of the water. Talk about lake. You could get double lake the effect, <laughs> lake effects now. No, it's just, but it's adorable in the summer. But right now sure. it's awesome. Mm -hmm. what Chris and I are discussing is Chris has her stresses of some things that stresses her out while living this life. The things that get me are the power situation and internet ability to be able to get all the all the assets and all the things I need on the computer so I can create the video and then upload it and also have enough power to do it out of a tent. We made it over here to Munsinger. Munsing, Munsing. <laughs> you see? Okay. You see, you see why I didn't want to say that one? <laughs> Okay, we made it over to Christmas, which is by... Christmas is a lot easier to say. <laughs> yes.